I mentioned before the break at the top of the hour that I couldn't believe what the president of ESPN said. And here it is. His name is John Skipper. He was one of the featured guests at a tech conference out in Dana Point, California. It was called the Code Slash Media Conference. It was on Wednesday, and he talked about a lot of things. And one of the subjects he talked about was the inclusion of black writers at ESPN. And he said, he essentially scolded other media outlets for their failure to hire African Americans. The president of ESPN said there's not enough black media in this country. There's not enough black owned media in this country. There are not enough sites, websites run by people of color. That is how he promoted a new website that ESPN is launching called The Undefeated. Uh, or I don't know, maybe it has been launched. I'm not sure. The way this is written, this is, and that led into Skipper discussing the launch of the undefeated, the one-time vehicle for Jason Whitlock that will, yeah, here it is, start operation later this year. We're going to have a site run by people of color, by black Americans, who are going to curate the site. They're going to create the content for that site. ESPN's going to own it, but that's as far as they're going to be involved in it. Skipper pointed out that of the 85 women or African-Americans hired by national outlets, ESPN has 74 of them under its employ. He said it was important to cater to the African-American community because they watch sports, too. He said African-Americans are a very important part of our constituency. They watch a lot of sports. And I believe that we have to be their home. And they have to believe that we represent their interests. Fine and dandy, ESPN can do whatever they want. And Skipper can say whatever he wants. But it sure sounds like segregation to me. It doesn't sound like what Dr. King talked about. You know, I remember when I was growing up, the subject was integration. When I was growing up, the complaint was that, well, even before I was growing up, that certain, you know the drill, certain parts of the lunch counter, white only. Restrooms, white only. Uh, buses, white only. And so the civil rights movement was about integrating, was about breaking down barriers, was about integrating the races, getting rid of the ultimate objective I, I always believe it was a colorblind society. I don't think that's the actual objective. I think if we ever got there, too many in the race business would be out of business and they don't want to go there. So a colorblind society, while I think would be absolutely wonderful and fabulous, I don't think we're ever going to be allowed to get there. But my point is, back in the 50s, when I was growing up, 60s, integration. That's what the entire civil rights movement was about. And it seems... It's not just recently, like the last 20 years. It seems like after succeeding and integrating so much of our society, the desire all of a sudden to separate popped up again. And then on college campus, need black dorms, black studies, black classes, African-American studies, uh, black history month as opposed to American history month. And now ESPN with their website, uh, The Undefeated, which is 100% African-American in content. As though that's the only way the African-American audience at ESPN can be properly served. It just doesn't seem like it's going in the right direction to me. I know the word empowerment is used a lot. And this will be seen as empowering the people who are employed to work on this website. And it'll probably be said that it's empowering the African-American audience of ESPN, but it's still segregating, isn't it? And is that what we're out to do now? Is that the objective? Segregation? 
And it's not just African Americans. I mean, the longest time, militant feminism. Remember all these women saying that only women can adequately represent women in the Senate? Only women can possibly understand women's issues. And we don't have enough elected women. We're not enough elected women in the Senate and the House. As though it was everybody else's fault. As though there was some sort of institutional bias or racism. No, we're not going to elect a bunch of women. We don't want them in this way. When in truth, there weren't that many running. But somebody decided there aren't enough women here. There aren't enough African Americans here. And somehow, that so-called fact ended up being blamed on people that had nothing to do with it. And then that led to the whole concept of integration, I guess, failing. Because the majority was still putting up roadblocks and not permitting it, so we have to resegregate here. And as we resegregate, people are being applauded and thinking they're doing great things. And I don't know how this is advancing anything. I fully expect to hear about this. I'm fully aware I'm going to catch hell. I'm going to be misrepresented, and people are going to accuse me of whatever that's not going to be anywhere near accurate. But as I watch ESPN, I don't know how anybody, any sports fan, gets shortchanged. They cover everything. And they've got, he's right, Skipper's right, they have a lot of ex-jocks, African-American coach. Oh, gosh, I just saw the clock. After, I'm sorry. This is gonna be... Yeah, I'm just looking at the clock. I went long in that segment. There's not enough time to be fair with uh, with, with another caller. Um, but I think there's a good point what's going on. This is not just segregation that's setting in again, as exemplified here by what ESPN's doing. I, I, I'm going to take it further. It's not only integration bring, being brought to screeching halt and segregation resurfacing. I think this is also about assimilation. I think this is about the whole concept of what it is to be an American. I think that's under siege, and I think it's in the process of being redefined, and that's what the Democrat Party is all about now, the attack on the founding the belief that America has found it unjust and immoral. There's a whole bunch of things happening out there that are really aimed at restructuring and redefining the whole country and breaking down the concepts that were established, what this country is since our founding. Okay, calls when we get back. Hang in there.